built hundreds of macros over the years to make me more productive. And today I'll show you five macros that help me save multiple hours a week. They're super easy to set up, starting with a macro to quickly search any text on Google. So here's how the macro works. I can select any text on the screen. So maybe I'll select a word like this and I'll press a keyboard shortcut of Command Option V and it instantly searches that highlighted text on Google. So if there were multiple things that I selected, like um, you know a big phrase like this, and I press that shortcut, Command Option V, it will search that entire thing on Google, which makes it very quick to search for anything. And by the way, this works from any app that you're in. So if I'm in uh, my notes app, I can click on a word or phrase and it will instantly search it again within my browser. So the way that I build these macros is with an app called Keyboard Maestro. It's super simple to use and you don't need to know any coding or have previous experience to use it. But this is what that first macro looks like. Search selected text on Google. It simulates a keystroke of command C. So if some text is highlighted like this, then it will press command C to copy that text. And then it will open the browser if it's not open already. And then it will type command T to open a new tab. And then it will type command V to paste the clipboard. And then finally, it will press return to search for that text. So just to show it uh, one more time, I'll highlight some text and run it. And you can see it does it extremely quickly. The second time-saving macros for your keyboard let you instantly switch between any tabs with just a single uh, button on the keyboard. So you can see I'm within the browser and I'm switching through all these tabs with just my left hand using keyboard shortcuts. And by the way, this works in any application. So if I'm on uh, the browser, it will work. It will work within Finder. If I have multiple tabs within my notes app, it will also let me switch between them instantly. This is super useful. There's no more uh, clicking between different tabs needed. You can just do it instantly with this keyboard shortcut. So within Keyboard Maestro, those, it's actually two macros, one to switch to the left tab and one to the right. They look like this. They're super simple. They just simulate a keystroke of command option left or right arrow. So those are the default shortcuts to switch tabs in most apps. For some apps, it talks about the setup here. You'll have to add that functionality yourself. But once you do, this saves so much time in the day-to-day -day, since you don't have to use the mouse to change tabs anymore. And by the way, you can download all of these macros for free in the description of this video if you want to try them yourself. But now let's turn to the third macro that saves a bunch of time. And this one will let us instantly spell check any word. So let's say this is a sentence that I spelled wrong. So I'm going to press the shortcut and you can see it pops up a list of words that it thinks I meant instead of the incorrect word. So I can use the arrow keys to select one of these and then press enter and it will replace that word with the correct version. So this is a sentence with misspelled uh, words. So let's come back here and press the shortcut again. You can see it says misspelled is spelled correctly. If we added a typo to it and we try the shortcut again, it will pop up that list. And again, we can select any of the options and it will replace that word with the correct spelling. Back in Keyboard Maestro, this macro just has a shortcut of Command Option Control B. So um, that's what I'm pressing whenever I do that shortcut and it'll tell me if the word's spelled correctly or not. It's a bit complex. It relies on a number of different actions, but all you have to do to set it up is take this uh, content right here and paste it into your terminal and run it and the macro will work for you. And by the way, if you want me to personally help you make custom macros like this to save you over a hundred hours a year, I run a program called the Automation Accelerator. It's extremely personalized to help you save as much time as possible. And you can sign up for a free coaching call with me using the top link in the description below to see if you'd be a good fit for the program. But now let's look at the fourth set of macros for your keyboard. So I'm just gonna highlight the sentence right here and I'll press the first of the shortcuts, which will make all the words in that sentence lowercase. 
The second shortcut will make them all uppercase. The third one will make it title case, like it's the title of a book. And the fourth one will make it sentence case. So let me add one more sentence, one more sen sentence. And I'll bring it all back to lowercase so I can show you the uh, title case one or sentence case one. This will just make the first word of each sentence uppercase. So these are super useful. I use them all the time when I'm trying to quickly modify text. This works regardless of how, uh, how big the block of text is. If I copy a bunch of text like this and uh, run the shortcut, it will make them all uppercase or all lowercase. So super useful. I use these every single day. Back in Keyboard Maestro, they look like this. They just have a hotkey, so something like Control Option 1 for lowercase, Control Option 2 for uppercase, 3 for title case, and 4 for sentence case. And then they basically copy whatever text is highlighted, filter it with lowercase or uppercase, whatever you prefer, and then paste it back in. All right, the fifth and final macro that saves a bunch of time is the one that lets me instantly switch windows between my laptop and my monitor, which is to my left. So if I press the shortcut, it will jump the front window to the monitor or jump it back. So this works regardless of what app I'm in. I can just instantly pop it over back and forth depending on which screen I want it on. And it's super useful. I rely on it every single day to save me time instead of needing to manually drag windows back and forth, which can be super slow and tedious. This macro does it for me. It will pop that window uh, to any monitor I want in a single keystroke. So this is what it looks like in Keyboard Maestro. I have it set to Control Shift Z. It basically sets the dimensions of the front screen as well as the secondary screen and then moves the front window to the other screen with the appropriate dimensions. So this has been five time-saving macros for your keyboard. If you enjoyed this video, you might like this one next where I talk about 10 macros that I use every single day in my work. Thanks for watching.